Hey there, this is Gerard checking in on behalf of Texas Tech Review, and I'm going to do a review on a Christmas present that I got for myself. This here is the Motorola Photon 4G for Sprint. This is going to be pretty much a practical review, um, not really aiming it towards the real hardcore gearheads, but for people like myself who got their last upgrade in 2009, maybe you picked up something like HTC Hero, and you're looking to get into something new now that your contract is pretty much expired. I think this is a viable option, especially if you're looking and a little jealous of everybody else is running around with these iPhones and their Evos and the Samsungs. I think this is a decent contender, and we're going to talk about exactly why that is. Let's talk about a few things that you're going to get yourself into when you pick up one of these Motorola Photon 4Gs. What exactly are you getting? Well, you're getting a phone that's 4.3 inches in diameter, um, which is pretty much the standard size for any phone that's worth anything nowadays. Anything to brag about, that is. What you're getting in this phone is an NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual-core processor. Um, that's a very sexy thing that I just said, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later as to why that is. Also, you're getting 16 gigabytes of internal storage, so that's definitely a step up. And I'm waiting for my camera to focus here. Come on. There we go. Now, stepping up from a phone like this that really only has about less than 500 megabytes to something that has 16 gigs internal, also has an SD card slot that will let you expand up to 32 gigs, there's a lot of storage that you're getting with this phone. Definitely a lot of room for apps and a lot of room for a, a many different things that you may want to download to the phone. I think it's actually a little bit too much room. As we look at the different feature, different um, features on alongside the phone here, as you see the volume rockers, dedicated volume rockers here. We got a dedicated camera button here. Turn to the other side, right next to the USB port, we also got an HDMI out. We got the headphone jack up here, up top, next to the power button. We look on the back of the phone, and you see I'm toting a nice little uh, hard rubber case that I just got from Amazon today. Um, we got do LED flash on an 8 megapixel camera, and we also have a kickstand. We also do have a front facing VGA camera, so you can get all your Skyping and your Ubu in. So let's talk about a few things that I absolutely love about this phone. When I mentioned the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor, the one thing that you're going to get with that is speed. This phone is fast, especially if you're moving from a phone like this that literally takes minutes to do anything to a phone that has this processor in it that breaks it down to about seconds everything on here loads up so fast it's been the one thing that I've been fascinated the most about with about this phone um, if, you see, if you see Google Maps loading up just like that nothing to wait on you get straight into what you want to do the other thing that I, I, I like about this phone as far as the processor is concerned is that there are actually a lot of apps that they're designing that are specifically made for this processor um, and what you're gonna find is there are a lot of games the one that's going to stand out the most, um, that's everybody's favorite, is Fruit Ninja. They actually have a Fruit Ninja HD version that's specifically made for this phone and this processor. And when I tell you that the gameplay and the presentation is a lot smoother and a lot more fluid, you're going to have to just see this for yourself when you get your own. They're, out, they're making a lot of games on the market that are specifically made for this processor, and that's what makes this phone a definite catch. Uh, other things that I have to mention is the call quality, which is which is spectacular. Um, the battery life um, is, is is very good, I have to say. Um, I played about three hours of Grand Theft Auto 10th on uh, three tenth anniversary edition, and I watched about three hours of Netflix um, programming on this phone, and I've only lost about somewhere in the in the, in the ballpark of about ten percent of battery life. So um, definitely a good value as far as battery life is concerned. 
Saying something bad about this phone is almost like pulling teeth, but we're not going to pretend like this phone isn't uh, is perfect um, because it definitely isn't. And the three things that kind of stand out to me, number one would be the Motorola blockware that comes with the phone. They don't the the, the software that they they give you with the Motorola um, um, phones nowadays. I'm not really a fan of them. The widgets that they have for the different programs that they use are are, are pretty ugly. Um, they're not attractive at all. And some of the programs that they give you, like the social networking um, program that they give you with this phone, doesn't really work all that well. You will miss notifications, especially if you have too many things plugged to it. It does give you the ability to plug so many different accounts to it. Facebook, Twitter, I think uh, I've seen Picasa. I definitely see Flickr. Uh, LinkedIn, um, so many different social media um, outlets that you can plug into the actual blockware in this phone, but it really doesn't handle those things well. It does a few new, unique things, but you're better off just downloading the native apps and just using them. You got 16 gigs worth of storage space. You have more than enough room to do so without anything to worry about. The other thing I'm going to mention is the speakerphone. Now, whereas I do love the call quality on this phone, what I feel it kind of fell short is on the speakerphone. Being that we have things like Airbus and Bluetooth nowadays, the hands-free experience has dramatically changed since, you know, over the past few years. But for a person like myself who's pretty much own Motorola phones 80% of, you know, the time that I've actually had the cell phone period in my life, the one thing about Motorola, they always been strong when it comes to speakerphone usage. You're definitely not getting that quality here. It definitely fell below Motorola standards. It may not be a big deal to you. It's not really a big deal to me, but it's just something I just happen to notice. A Motorola phone that, that has a, a, a below average speakerphone. It's kind of weird. Um, the other thing that you're probably going to notice is the phone is a little bulky, and I do have a case on here. That makes it a little bulkier but the phone is a little on the bulky side and it's a little got a little weight to it uh, most websites say that this phone is about six ounces and you really wouldn't think that's a big deal until you're on the phone with somebody that you really don't want to be on the phone with for an extra 20 minutes holding the phone to your ear or maybe you're laying in in bed on your back um, browsing the internet or texting or playing a the game then that weight factor kind of comes into play when you couple that with the fact that there are other phones out there like the Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G with the most longest title in the whole wide world, um, is actually a feather light phone. It's so lightweight and it does so much. To know that people have the manufacturers have the ability to make phones that light, it almost doesn't make sense for this phone to be this heavy. For me to even keep griping about these things or finding more things that are wrong with this phone, like I said, it's, it's, it's like pointing out dust specks in a white room. All in all, it's a good phone. I think it's a decent contender. If you're looking for one of the big face phones and you, you, know, you, you, you definitely want to be accepted with that iPhone or that, that Evo crowd that's been hawking you for the past year while you've been rocking one of these little slow itty bitty phones, um, the Motorola is definitely a contender. You should definitely take a close look at it, see if it's right for you. That that dual core processor, that in, the Nvidia Tegra 2, is definitely a, a great seller point for this phone because you're going to get a lot of exclusive content that's, that's specifically made for this phone. This is Gerard with Texas Tech Review, and I hope you all are having a great holiday.